Hi, this video guides you as you develop an accurate design proposal in sufficient detail for a third party to manufacture your prototype for Criterion C of the DTIA. I want to just reinforce the fact that you're developing a design proposal that anybody should be able to follow. So any third party, even if they're unfamiliar with the prototype, they should be able to follow your design proposal and create the prototype. To meet the requirements of the strand, you need to have enough detail in your design proposal that anyone can follow it. So someone unfamiliar with all of the work that you've done to get to this stage needs to be able to follow your proposal and create the prototype. You should detail your proposal in three separate elements. So you're gonna present them as a series of technical drawings, as assembly drawings, and a bill of materials. Depending on the nature of the product or prototype that you've designed, the technical drawings may take a particular recognized form as appropriate. The technical drawing selected by the students may include the following product drawings that have dimensional orthographic drawings that include details of all features, textiles or fashion if you're working with that, a dimension pattern including hemlines, seam allowances, fold points, placements of holes, fastening placements, and so on. If you're using electronics, a circuit diagram and printed circuit board PCB layout, identifying the components that can be included in the circuit and how they are connected. If a PIC is used, a flow diagram or programming should be included. If you're doing mechanics, you need a systematic of how the components interact. Assembly drawings show how the individual components fit together. You should present an assembly drawing that includes all the individual parts, standard components, and annotations where additional materials such as adhesive or finishes are used. You may use one or a combination of the following, general assembly drawings, outline assembly drawings, diagrammatic assembly drawings, unit assembly drawings or sub-assembly drawings, fitted assembly drawings, exploded assembly drawings. Generally, we would probably use the exploded assembly drawings or the sub-assembly drawings. You must also include a bill of materials. A bill of materials is sometimes referred to as a cutting list. It lists all the components needed to assemble the prototype and includes the material, the major dimensions, the number of components required, and an identifier part number, as in the following example. So you can see in the table here that we have part number, part name, material, dimensions, quantity, and cost. You must not include more than 10 words in each cell of the bill of material. The following examples are extracts from a larger section of work to illustrate the level of detail required to meet the criterion strand. For the technical drawings, a complex part is used. The part has been chosen as it includes several features to illustrate the level of detail required to indicate the dimensions of the part and the position of the features. For the assembly drawing, a multi-part exploded drawing is presented. The exploded drawing is labeled, showing how the parts relate to each other and is accompanied by a bill of materials. This is an example of a high-performing technical drawing. Both the horizontal and vertical dimensions are sourced from a single origin point. There is sufficient detail to indicate the size and position of each feature. The use of angles and establishing a starting point relative to the origin point of the rectangular cutout provides a reference to be able to mark out and make the desired part correctly. Few, if any, assumptions need to be made to make this part. This is an example of a high-performing assembly drawing and bill of materials. The exploded drawing shows all of the parts and includes guidelines to indicate how the parts are threaded together or positioned. The parts are placed in correct order so that they are squeezed together in position and will fit together as intended. Annotations indicate how parts are fixed together. The bill of materials is complete, but the electronic components are included in a separate component list, which is not included. This is an example of a medium performance technical drawing. Most details are included, although a third party would need to make some assumptions when making this part. There are repeated dimensions on each projection and there is no use of guidelines or center lines to mark out features. 
For example, the position and size of the second hole on the right side of the drawing is not indicated. The third party would need to assume that this was a reflection of the left-hand side. The student could make this clear by using center lines. The rectangular feature is dimensioned in itself. However, locating its position in reference to one of the radii would require a third party to make an assumption of the position of one of its corners to mark it out. Some of the dimensions originate from a ghost point, an unseen point on the drawing, the 110 dimension marked on the bottom of the top view. Some of the dimensions cascade from a previous dimension. When marking out, this can cause the carrying forward of an error. If all the dimensions are made from the same origin, this ensures that all features are marked from a single reference point and reduce the risk of error. The drawing would also benefit from guidelines being used to align the three views and the features as seen from those views. This is an example of a medium performance on the exploded drawing and build materials. The exploded drawing shows all of the parts, but it's not clear how or where all the parts are attached. For example, one needs to assume that the watch strap wraps around the buckles, which are secured in place. The watch strap is attached to the main body using the spindle. There is no indication of how the buckles are held in place. The bill of materials is complete, but the electronic components are included in a separate component list, which is not included. This is an example of a low performing technical drawing. Only the overall size of the part and features are included. There's no detail of the position of the features in relation to the main peaks. A third party would have to cut out the main shape, the arc, but not be able to make the part as required. Additionally, only two orthographic views are included, which means there's no detail of the side view. This is an example of a low performance on the assembly drawing and bill of materials. The exploded drawing includes most of the parts, but many are not presented separately. Therefore, it is not clear how the parts are attached. For example, parts C, D, and E are presented as an assembly. The third party would not know how these parts fit together. In addition, the straps are presented as a single component with no indication of how the strap is joined to the body. The bill of material is limited in its information.